Okay, today we're going to get out Grandpa Renner's Grandpa Renner's uh, Grandpa Renner's I shouldn't say old Bible it's, see what, what year was this thing made? King James Bible, published by the World Publishing Company, Cleveland, Ohio. Couldn't say what year it's published, but it was my great grandpa Renner, so. It's gonna be the kid's great great grandpa Renner. Doesn't have a publishing date. You know, today we're gonna talk about the, uh, the, uh, well, we're going to ask some questions, I guess, today. We want honest answers on the Earth shape because we've got all these flat Earth, spherical Earth, uh, dome Earth, uh, things going on on the internet. It's just crazy. Uh, now, let's be clear here: is 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 my goal isn't to change change your mind on the uh, view you hold. Uh, my goal is to uh, just openly discuss and, and use God's word to to see if we can uh, uh, to see if we can uh, see what God says. I mean, let God be true and every man a liar, right? So, so let's uh, let's get into this. Uh, uh, of course, I, I don't, don't want to prove that the Earth is round. I, I don't want to prove this dome. I don't want to prove it's flat. So just hear the matter out uh, before you, you answer it, uh, or before you shut this video down, because we want to know what the scripture tells us. Uh, listen very carefully. Is uh, a personal view holding a flat or a round earth is, is not necessarily what we're looking for here. We're looking for what God says about it. We need to review all the evidence, you know, all the evidence so far whether NASA is lying or, or there's actual pictures from the Earth and outer space and what it actually looks like and and uh, not what we think pertaining to our personal views. So please be respectful and hear me out. This is not about which group is right, but it is about what God says. So we are the in the dispensation of grace, so let's keep it graceful. Now some people are lying to us on this issue with an evil agenda absolutely have you convinced yourself of the shape of the earth then it is your heart with your heart you've done so and you will likely never never change your mind on the issue likely never change your mind if you set it in your heart that the earth is flat or the earth is a fear or, or round you'll you'll never change your mind so uh because uh, it just gets deep rooted in your heart so uh, how? How does it do that? It's a spirit. It takes you over. To avoid the spirit, which is another spirit, which God warned us about, don't take your info from someone else that changes Bible version issues. Be very weary of that. And Bible issue, version, versions, different Bible versions are different spirits. There's no doubt about that. I've done lots of studies on that. And uh, God even says that. So there are hundreds and thousands of images on the shape of the earth should we believe any of them or just dispute them all uh, I, I don't know what you guys think about that but uh, but uh, some of them I believe and, and some I don't <coughs> so uh, people that believe the earth is flat say all videos and pictures are faked well there's 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 uh, thousands of pictures taken by amateurs that, that, that can't possibly be, all be faked they can't all be fake, every single one of them. So, so where's their evidence when, they're, when they say that? They have no pictures or videos of a flat earth, do they? So who has the best evidence? People that are show, amateur uh, photographers that are showing a, a round earth, uh, a spherical earth, or people that say the earth is flat and, and they proved it with scripture, but they have absolutely no pictures of it. So wh what's the best evidence? That's what we have to look at. So if you're only listening to people on the flat or domed earth side, 
you'll be taken by their spirit rather than believe the pictures and videos of the contrary no matter what absolutely no matter what now we can say that all every single picture is fake but i have my doubts you have to say that with great reservation in your heart now everyone believing in a flat earth must debunk that man has actually been in space and that man went to the moon they got to debunk that first and and that's that's the, that's the agenda of, of these people i'm not saying whether they're right or wrong but that's the agenda so science actually means knowledge right so we must test if we have false science or real science true factual science does not contradict the scriptures right we can all agree on that flat and dome earthers must use other versions of the scripture to prove their point even their little hand-drawn shapes they rely on use corrupt scripture and i've seen it like uh, i was sent by a, a flat a flatter domed earth or this picture uh, of a flat earth with the ice around it and then it says uh, uh in the grave or something and anyhow it, it, it was using corrupt scriptures from corrupt bibles and that was a little disappointing because uh, uh i was really looking forward to looking at their drawing but it's just a drawing why not a picture we have so many balloons up in space and, and, and spacecraft going to space now. New spacecraft, new companies going up there. There's got to be, boy, over 100 different companies sending spaceships up, up there now. But uh, I just off this jump over here. Now, on the hand-drawn shapes, they, they're using corrupt scripture. So you're using cor 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 corrupt Corruption produces a corrupt drawing, right? Because if you're using corruption, it's going to breed corruption. <clears throat> so come, let us reason together, God said, right? That was Isaiah 118. It's come now and let us reason together, saith the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. Now the flat earth community, we can, we can kind of uh, uh, start, start there, is, is they actually demand, they make a lot of demands. And uh, I want to go to the book of 2 Timothy 3, 16 to 17 now. 2 Timothy 3, 16 to 17. 2 Timothy 3... 16 to 17. 2 Timothy 3. Sixteen to 17. I'm going to show you guys something here. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Isn't that something now? Isn't that something? So, in Timothy, Timothy would be saying, Oh. You know, so, 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 if we start building a following, flat, domed earth, uh, spherical earth, on something that the Bible never said is wrong or right, and what are we doing? Stating that, and, and also, be, uh, I, know, I noticed a lot of the flat earth group, they state that Satan has a conspiracy to convince everyone that the earth is a globe. Well, friends, that's not in Scripture. That is not in Scripture that the earth is a globe. That eight Satan, no, sorry, that, that Satan, uh, it's not in the Scripture that Satan uh, ha has a conspiracy. It's, it's, there's a lot of conspiracies, perhaps Satan has, but it's not in the Scripture that part one of his conspiracies is convincing everyone the earth is a globe. So uh, if it's not there, it's not there, you know? So if it's not in scripture, it's wrong. Self, and they, they also make it a, a salvation uh, issue. 
And salvation cannot be based on anything that the scripture does not say, right? And if we go to Colossians 1 6, uh, sorry, 1 16, it's for by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers. All things were created by him and for him. Now we need to see, based on this, we need to see if people are using their opinions or convictions based on the shape of the earth. That's very important. The difference between an opinion and a conviction, you've got to watch for this when you're listening to a video or listening to somebody t telling you the earth is a certain shape. So, uh, and, and some of these people, they would actually die to protect, protect their position and their views. But both sides of the views are wrong. That's right. Both sides of the views, flat earth, a spherical earth, are wrong if you stick to God's word. Absolutely. I'm going to show you that now. And that's uh, in the Holy Word, there'll be Jeremiah 31 37. Thus saith the Lord, if heaven above can be measured and the foundations of the earth stretched out beneath, I will also cast off all the seed of Israel for all that they have done, saith the Lord. Seth the Lord. So, the heavens have been measured and the foundations of the earth which cannot be searched out. So if the heavens have been measured, which NASA claims they have done, but have the heavens really been measured? No, no one has measured the heavens because they cannot and no one can search out the foundation of, of the earth. No one can do it. So if no one can do it, why are all these people saying that the earth is a certain shape? You can't do it. Or you're, you're calling God a liar. So uh, let's go to now to Ecclesiastes 3.11. No one, uh, I'm sorry, he hath made everything beautiful in his time. <coughs> Excuse me. Also, he has set the world in their heart so that no man can find out the work that God maketh from the beginning to the end. So basically, we got a lot of people here that... Uh, uh, arguing about the, the shape of the earth and they cannot possibly know it or God is a liar so why are you arguing back and forth and 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 causing division over something you can't possibly know and don't say you do or you're calling God a liar I believe God do you so why are all these people are people arguing and, and protecting a view they can't possibly know it doesn't make sense right when people tell you they believe something is not in, in the scriptures, the first question that should be enter your mind is, are they trying to cause division? Or have they been deceived into doing so? You need to ask yourself that, guys. That's very, very important. Are they causing division? Or have are they doing these videos and, and teachings because they've been deceived into doing so? Very important to know. It's very easy for us to get deceived, too. So what you believe the shape of the earth is, is between you and God. You don't need to push it on somebody else. It's between you and God. Because people that argue about it have no idea what they're talking about without any evidence. And they don't have evidence unless you're calling all, the, at least one of the amateur, uh, amateur uh, pictures of the shape of the earth. Uh, but guys, uh, private people have sent up rockets and, 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 and balloons and stuff uh, with GoPros and, and other types of camera and equipment including uh, just after the Second World War, they used uh, one of the Russian uh, rockets to and sent a camera into space, and it wasn't a convex lens or something like that. It was a, a regular lens camera. Uh, so, uh, uh, you know, if you got some evidence, you should probably lean a little bit more on the evidence side. Otherwise, it's between you and God. Start trying to push it on somebody else. Job 26, 7. He stretches stretcheth out the north over the empty place 
and hangeth the earth upon nothing. Now, I know a lot of flat earthers love that verse because they think, oh, it's got to be flat and it just hangs on nothing. But is that what God said? Now, does this verse prove that when you look up into the sky, the sun is going around us or we're revolving around the sun? No, it cannot. So don't use that either. This, to say that you can is against God's pure, perfect words by falsely, privately interpreting privately interpreting which is prophesizing one way or another it you can't be privately interpreting it and why do I say that we're gonna to go to 2nd Peter 2nd Peter now 120 2nd Peter 120 2nd Peter 120 so why we, we can't possibly privately interpret the scripture like that second Peter 1 20 knowing this first that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation so we're not to privately interpret that we're not to do that guys and, and, and everyone in the in, in these groups is especially the, the flat and the domed earth and and, and possibly the spherical earth too. So, uh, okay, that was Job 26. Then I had Peter. Second Peter 1 20 yet each okay now no scripture is of any private interpretation yet each group flat dome round looks at each other like the other group is possessed with devils ignoring what God actually says and why do they do that I don't know because God says no man can find out no man can find out no 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 cover with ants here so don't bash someone because they don't believe the earth is flat or don't bash someone because they don't believe the earth is round so does the devil deceive the whole world by teaching that the earth is a globe well the scripture does not say that so at least nowhere I've seen if you want to point something out to me I'd be happy to look it over so the scripture doesn't say that and that in itself is deception now let's look at Isaiah 40. Isaiah 40, 22. It is he that sitteth upon the circle of the earth, and the inhabitants thereof are as grasshoppers. Now I know the flat, flat earth group loves to use this uh, scripture for some reason. But the, 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 uh, the inhabitants of the earth are as grasshoppers that stretch, stretcheth out the heavens as a curtain, and spreadeth them out as a tent to dwell in. Well, if someone knows this verse as, as doctrine, walk circumspectly and see what God is actually saying. So how do we walk circumspectly? When, when we see a verse or we're given a verse, we go around it, we read it in a context, above, below, check out what that verse is actually mean, because the Bible usually has its own dictionary built in and explains it to you. So you walk circumspectly. And uh, so, so if the earth is flat and limited to a 3,000 mile dome on top, which uh, most of the flat earthers say of that model, the scripture presented does not, does that we just read, does not teach that the earth is flat. But this verse is actually saying that God spread out the heavens and the tent making a huge way beyond a 3,000 mile limitation. And these guys, when they say that, they limit themselves to this 3,000 mile dome. 3,000 mile dome. So uh, we don't want to limit God's words. Let, let God's words speak for themselves. Now going back to the, the, the to define a circle, 
The language of the scriptures, Elizabethan English, as, as, as many people know, New Version of say, is the same as the Webster's 1828 Dictionary. Yeah, that language is exactly the same, which I happen to have a hard copy of. And the Webster's in 1828 would use scripture and most often first mention a scripture to define any particular word. So we're going to see what circle means in the, in the, in the Webster's Dictionary. Circle, 1828. Webster says, in geometry, a plain figure com comprehended by a single curved line called its circumference, every part of which is equally distanced from the point called the center. Of course, all lines drawn from the center to the circumference or periphery are equal to each other. Two. Here's, a, here's another 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 uh, example you did. In popular use, the line that comprehends the figure, the plane or surface comprehended, and the whole body or solid matter of round substance are denominated a circle, a ring, an orb, the earth, for example. Interesting. In logic, an inconclusive form of argument when the same terms are proved in orbum by the same terms and the parts of the synlogism alternately by each other directly and indirectly or when the foregoing proposition is proved of by the following and the following is inferred from the foregoing as that heavenly heavy bodies as that heavy bodies descend by gravity and gravity is a qual quality by which a heavy body descends here's another another one another definition he gives circles of the sphere are such as cut the mundane sphere and have their periphery either on its movable surface as the meridians or in another immovable con terminus and e equidistant surface as the ecliptic equator and its parallels circles of altitude or um, alumcantars are circles parallel to the horizon, having their common pole in the zenith and diminishing as approached by the zenith. Circles of latitude are great circles perpendicular to the plane of the ecliptic passing through the poles and through every star and planet. Well, that's kind of interesting. <clears throat> and then he says again, circles of longitude are lesser circles parallel to the ecliptic, diminishing as they recede from it. Circle of perpetual apparition, one of the lesser circles parallel to the, I'm actually reading what the Webster says, parallel to the equator, described by any point at the sphere touching the northern point of the horizon and carried about with the general motion the stars within the circle never set circle of the perpetual oculation another lesser circle at the like distance from the equator which includes all the stars which never appear in our hemisphere so stars never appear in our hemisphere that's right in Australia we see a different sky than we do here at night Stuff you can't see in the south, it's northern hemisphere, you see in the southern hemisphere. Diurnal circles are immovable circles supposed to be described by the several stars and other points in heaven, in the heavens, in their diurnal action round the earth, or rather in the rotation of the earth round its axis. So when yeah, so 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 that 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 that's what uh, Webster's saying. So so when he's uh, 
when he's saying, so when Webster's saying, so what he is saying is that there would be nothing wrong with the description of the earth being a complete globe. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing in a globe's definition that does not meet the definition of a circle. Well, isn't that interesting? And that's Webster's in 1828. And I'm, I'm sure the dictionary today is, is quite a bit different. I haven't checked yet, but maybe we should. So do 